Hi everybody, thanks a lot for taking the time to join me. My name is Rick Conti. I am a national Corvette sales representative. This is my vlog channel and it's all about you. It's all about Corvette and it's good to kind of be back into our normal vlog format. I'm sorry, my eyes are... The weather's been so goofy here in Ohio. I mean, we really had some nice days, slammed busy, then it got cold, <laughs> rescheduled everything. I think allergy season is going to be tough this year because my eyes are uh, my eyes are burning. Maybe we need... Yes, we need the D. Anthony vlog glasses. It was um, do a little vlogging. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> I know some of you guys like that. I mean, these are nice glasses, but I just can't do it. Hey, today on the channel, a couple of things to talk about in the market news. Also, I'm going to show you what the Clapper and Corvette have in common. Clap on, clap off. The Clapper. You guys know I'm going to always find a fun, silly way to promote the car and hopefully make it enjoyable for you to watch here on the channel. I'm glad you joined us. Thumbs up the video. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> hey, how about the last video, the Superman thing? Now, I, I took, <laughs> and some of you have asked, hey, you going to wear that at the bash next week? Absolutely not. <laughs> it's not happening. But I took that little bit and I tied it into tied it into the car dealership so it all worked speaking of another bit coming up uh i've got and this will probably be next month it'll be me tied in directly to corvette but me in a police uniform <laughs> let your imaginations run wild kids <laughs> And a lot more to come up. I just want to tell you some of the stuff that we are working on so you get an idea because I'm a national Corvette sales representative, but I'm also a fan and an enthusiast of this car. So it makes my job really, really cool. Uh, still going to look forward to next month, uh, my drag race, my first ever drag race. That's going to be pretty cool. I can't wait to share that with you guys. I'm going to redo a video for you uh, talking about how to drive up and down steep inclines. And also in that video, we're going to talk about the different aero kits, level one, level two, level three, so you have a full understanding of that. I mean, we did one before, but we have a much bigger audience now, and I appreciate you guys being here, so I'm just going to redo that video for you in our new kind of format and how we're vlogging now. I think that uh, you'll enjoy it, and it'll be a little bit more effective. And just to let you know other things that are coming up in the vlog channel, a, a guy just commented on one of the recent videos. He says, hey, Rick, can you do a video talking about uh, the different size people, tall, heavy, set and how they fit into Corvette, uh, maybe do some dimensions and things like that. And we kind of talked about this many times throughout the past year and a half, you know, comp seats versus GT seats, but I'd be happy to do that and maybe get a little more uh, specific on, as he said, uh, measurements. Uh, good idea. I appreciate that. And uh, we'll work on that. We'll definitely work on that. Also coming up, you saw in the previous video, a little preview, uh, Corvette Cleveland came down for a visit. We're going to share that with you here on the vlog. Uh, I'm going to the bash next week. And in case you missed it, uh, this is the ZR1 Corvette with the big wang and we'll have those for you at the bash uh a second you know so i'll be getting some of those autographed at the autograph session that they got going on during the event but uh, i'll be walking around the event filming you guys talking with you looking at your cars sharing as much as we can right here on the youtube channel and then periodically i'll be back in the parking lot look for my table with a black uh black skirt on it and it'll have the youtube logo on it that's where i'll be with the free poster giveaway uh, as often as i possibly can and looking forward to meeting a lot of you guys down there at the bash and then the following week I'm going to go back to Bowling Green. It's for Wayne and his museum delivery of his 2019 ZR1. So we're going to share that on the vlog. It was funny because he goes, hey, Rick, can you, can you come down to the, to the museum for my delivery? Can, w w will you put some of that stuff on the channel? Absolutely, dude. Are you kidding me? You don't even have to ask. I got you covered. Oh, and here's something else, too. I've been so busy. I had a chance to really pay attention because I keep hearing conflicting stories. And maybe some of you guys can make a comment down below. Is, Cor is Corvette racing in mid-Ohio on the 6th of May? I mean, yes, they are. I, I know there's probably not going to be a corral. That's kind of a bummer because GM has always done a wonderful job on the Corvette corrals. But I'd just be happy to see the car race. And if you've ever been to one of these races, and I don't care, I don't care if you're a if you're a Ferrari fan, you're not watching this channel. So I guess it's a moot point, you know, Porsche or what have you. But to those people, if they're in the audience watching it, here comes Corvette. Yeah. That is a good sounding car. It is what they call it a uh, badass. Yes. 
<laughs> yeah, it is badass. But are they racing or not on May 6th? Uh um, other quick things just going out of the marketplace. Yes, you have seen. Let me just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna limit my comments here real quick. How do I want to say this? Okay, you saw the Car and Driver magazine of the C8 mid-engine Corvette. You know, so I still anticipate that there's going to be two cars when the eighth generation comes to be. You'll have the mid-engine car, and it was funny on the front of Car and Driver. They said, "Ding! This is where the luggage goes." <laughs> looks like a bigger front end so I think for the cars that are in that segment I think we're gonna have something else to toot our horn about uh, knowing that we're gonna have more cargo space if you will in the front of that mid-engine car now in regards to that car now take a look at this in case you haven't seen it yet conversations with some people and looking at that car um I think Rick said um let's just say it's pretty darn close okay uh yeah here's a piece of inventory that came a lot of you guys had asked a lot of questions and I said that in my next video I would address it so I posted on Facebook, CorvetteConti.com, Corvette Forum, and now on YouTube, a new 16 Z06 convertible. Now it's currently in contract and I have three guys waiting in the wings with their credit card, let's go, in case this guy doesn't finish the deal. Uh, but it was weird, this is not our car because I had a lot of guys say, uh, how do you have a new 16 still? Well, we didn't. My boss came in and says, here, I need you to look at this car. And he's like, oh my gosh, a new 16. I said, man, I don't want anything to do with that. He goes, no, 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 just just look at it. I'm like, oh, okay, it's a $107,000 convertible. He says, they really need to get rid of it. Throw a number out there. So I'm looking at it, looking at it. I'm like, okay, you know, nah, 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 nah. All right, so I write down this number. I go here. If, if we bought it, this is what we need to buy it at so it can be an attractive offer. So my boss comes back an hour later. Um, they said yes. He said, are you kidding me? Well, great. Then we had a wonderful opportunity to post up there who's $31,000 off. Folks, folks, let me tell you something. There's not this kind of margin in the car. This is bizarre. It's unique. And it's so hard when you're doing these special deals to instill the value story in the car. Let's face it. A lot of people just don't get it. And yes, I had a guy that said, oh, can I get another five grand off? Anyways, it's a contract, so that's the story how that car came to be, and more to come here on the YouTube channel. The thing I love doing the most is talking with you folks and sharing your experiences when you actually buy this car. Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy the delivery of Hank, along with his grandson, Ike, and pay attention to see what the Clapper and Corvette have in common. Cool, huh? Really cool. I That's a problem. Okay, you know what's kind of funny though? It's almost like a double standard when you're picking up a new Corvette when it's relative to the weather. Now on a day like today, if the Corvette was already at home and already in the garage, it ain't going outside in this. Now it's 30 some degrees, there's a little bit of mist, a little bit of flurries, Ah, eh, it's awful. But you're picking up for the first time your new Corvette, you throw all those rules out the window, say, I'm coming to get it. It's okay, I'm coming to get it. That's the passion, that's the excitement this car generates. I mean, it's not as much fun picking it up in these conditions, but I do understand. And I'll tell you, I wish I had a nicer day to show this car off because this car needs to be shown off. Oh man, you know what you can't really see on a cloudy day? Look at that down there, guys. Exposed carbon fiber ground effects. Remember we talked about Hank on the vlog, getting ready for this delivery. He wanted as much exposed carbon fiber as possible. So you've got the hood stinger, you've got the ground effects here. And of course, reminiscent of the Carbon 65 car, and people just absolutely love this. We ordered this separately, all one piece. It's basically your level two exposed carbon fiber rear spoiler. <laughs> Isn't that hot? Wow. Once we put the top down, you'll see the exposed carbon fiber tonneau covers there. And of course there's carbon fiber over here. Load up the car for goodness sakes. Oh yeah, how do you like that? Yellow with Kalahari. Oh yes, that's class. Look at that. Grand Sport sills. Grand Sport mats with the Kalahari trim. Carbon fiber dash. Carbon fiber in the competition seats. Oh yeah, 3LT. Lots of Kalahari on the inside. My gosh. 
Do you know what though? I think that the way the lighting is and the way this camera's kind of picking it up, it almost looks like it's a little red tint. That's not what I wanted. Uh, this is uh, peanut butter. <laughs> this is your peanut butter interior. Look how classy this thing is. Okay, so we know it's Hank's Corvette, but look at that. He's actually already set it up to be Ike's Corvette. Isn't that special? This is dangerous, what he just brought me. Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> so we bought this on our Corvette trip. This looks just like uh, my customer, Nick. I don't know if you guys ever saw that segment. Nick came uh -huh. here from Vermont and brought me, because he flew in, he only brought me a very small sampling of syrup oh, from oh, Vermont. Oh, okay. and, this looks, and this looks, you know what, it was fantastic and I loved it. So, yeah, just came straight from school, so. Oh, did you really? Oh, he, oh uh, look at that. Your youngest, hey. your youngest Corvette owner. <laughs> He's got his name in the car. Picking up a Corvette on a day like today, all the rules go out. Now, if this had been in the garage at home, you wouldn't be driving it on a day like today, but picking it up, eh, there's a little flexibility there. Yeah, but <laughs> we drove the other yellow one, which was just like this, and it was snowing when we went home. <laughs> this is snowing now. And, and this is, look at it, stuff's bouncing off your convertible top. And we, oh. and we did. Oh my gosh. That's okay. You think that, Ike, huh? And he's got his name in there. I know, I saw that earlier. Like, what do you think about having your name in there, dude? I like it a lot. I mean, isn't that, that is like special, isn't it? It is. Very special. I mean, forever have a story, forever have an incredible memory. Uh, you're definitely going to generate some great memories with Grandpa. Well, I think that's absolutely it is wonderful. wonderful. Well, that's after I'm gone. Yeah. If, he, if I hang on to this until I go and then he keeps it after I'm gone. Yeah. You know, I, I see so many stories when people say that. Well, this was my grandpa's, you know, he had a Camaro and I want to get another Camaro or right. all the memories. And, you know, even even some of these actors and singers, and it yes. was like, I forgot who it was. One of the singers was on TV the other day, but he remembered all the good times he had with his grandpa. Yes. And he paid uh, West Coast Customs yes. to take a 64, and it was, I forgot the name of the singer. Anyhow, it doesn't matter. Right. Not that I would know who the hell he is anyway. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, he bought, he had him restore a 64 and a half, and it looked like, a, I got a 64 and a half Mustang, and I mean, it's yeah. the same thing as a Falcon. And I know what they're like, you know, they rattle and the A-frame leak. Right, right. So the brakes don't stop, even though I put disc brakes on it. And, <laughs> you know, so, but he, there was something that triggered all those memories with his grandpa. Yeah. And so hopefully when I'm gone, that guy right there will be uh, will be driving it and thinking of me every time he gets in it. That's 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 what this car is about is oh, generating those memories, man. I don't. But look around, see that carbon down there, see the yes. carbon splitter, see that carbon in the back. You know what? Yes. It's all Ike's idea. That is it. Oh, that's your idea. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I, mean, is it, I remember him. I remember him when he first ordered the car. He ready to order a car, and, and maybe that was you referred to Ike. And he says, here, he wants as much carbon fiber you can get from the factory. And we did. And we did. That's right. <laughs> we the back. Yes, we did. This is beautiful right here. This is so elegant and so classy. Now, Hank, how old are you, sir, if you don't mind me asking? I'm 76. 76. God bless you, man. <laughs> He's fantastic. You got a great spirit about you, bro. Enough. Well, hey. Long, but I feel, you know, I'm healthy, so that's the big thing. I mean, I could be gone tomorrow, but I can have a car. Well, I thought it was neat. I mean, you were focused, and you actually followed a little bit of my lead and some suggestions on ordering this car, but your whole focus on this car was, was him. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, it really was, and I, I just thought that was commendable. I thought it was real special, and it's an honor for me to be a part of it. It really is. So, uh, I Ike, think. man, I tell you, i got to give you a high five, brother. <laughs> I love that. And this kid genuinely loves Corvette. I mean, oh. he's really into it, so this is great. So well, I'm excited to share you guys on YouTube. I've been looking forward to you coming in. Uh, again, not in these conditions, but well, you know what? When you're picking up this car, this hey, is man. a car crazy guy. Uh, There's I only one reason I bought this car. He's not the only car crazy guy. You're equally excited too, and I love but it. I'm telling you, the only reason I bought this car is right here. I mean, that's, oh, I bought it for him. So that's awesome. That's why his name's on it. That's fantastic. You are already been creating those memories. Yeah, I get and it's wonderful that you're in a position to do some of the extra nice things that, that come with hard work, that are a true reward. Yep. Uh, that's what this car is. Yep. All right. Yeah, I mean that's and, and you know that. Mm -hmm. I know you know that. And it's gonna always be it's gonna be really special, it's gonna be a lot of fun right now. And whenever that day comes that Hank talks about, which I'm uncomfortable talking about. I, hey, I, but I understand. No, when but you get you, my age, I know. You, you know that it could be tomorrow. No, I, could, I, I, could, I could just drop 
I've yeah. had friends that were in their for late 40s that just fell down and that yeah. was the end of them. So, hey, yeah. I'm doing it while I can. Got to show Ike a little trick. You guys that are watching the audience right now, you're familiar with the clapper? Okay, hang on. Ike's like, what are you talking about? Okay, I'll show you. Clap on, clap off. The clapper. Just face this way to the camera so you can wait to everybody. Hey, what's happening? We're playing. Okay. What I need you to do, the clapper was a thing. You know what the clapper is? No. The clapper's a thing. Instead, when you're in bed and you didn't want to get out of bed and you would clap your hands and the lights would go off. Oh, the clap. Yes. I yeah. Know what the now he knows what the clapper is. Well, the Corvette's got a, it's got a clapper system in it too. But you got to do it. You got to do it one, two really loud and not too fast or it won't pick up the sensor that's where you got to be by the convertible top so it works so do it real quick for me okay now hang on and it's working i'll be darned look at that and that's just for playing along nice job <laughs> I knew, you had the, I knew you had the key. All right. And, and uh, let me tell you about Rick. He's, he's his, he might be a little sugared up, but uh, he's, he's, a, he's, he's, I've dealt with a lot of car dealers. I bought, a, I probably bought, I don't know, 30 cars in my lifetime. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And new ones and stuff, <laughs> and Cadillacs, and never had a dealer quite like uh, Coglin. <laughs> Thanks, or I never man. had a never had a salesman quite like Rick, I should say. Thanks, man. Appreciate that, buddy. He's a, a pleasure. little sugared up, but he's okay. Yeah, he's a good guy. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a good man too. <laughs> you love can't it. go wrong. I love it. I love it. Can't go wrong. Ike, you're a gentleman, man. Congratulations, brother. You and your grandpa create some nice memories. All right. Okay, Rick. Thanks. Congratulations. Thank you, Hank. Appreciate it, man. <laughs>